These are 85 cows and calves. Those are beginning to settle a bit down a bit now because they're used to getting moved every day, but they're not going to get moved just now. They can stay in the same paddock till tomorrow morning. I, these went out, turned out from the beginning of April onwards, and um, three bulls went into this group for from the beginning of June for eight, roughly eight weeks. Um, this afternoon I PD'd 30 heifers and three cows and two of those heifers were not in calf, all the rest were in calf, which is quite pleasing results. Um, they were in a separate mob this year, but next year I'll probably put the heifers and the cows all in the same group. The bigger the group, the better, less groups to manage. And um, one thing I have learned over the last couple of years is to be adaptive, is uh, monitor the situation and change things. Um, as suits. The weather is not a constant. Um, there's too many variables in, the, variables in the system to say they must go into a hectare, a hectare paddock in two, 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 two months time or a month's time. Um, you've got to adapt all the time. So, but the beauty of the system, I can change the size of the paddock so easy with the, with the geared reels. And also a special thanks to all the other farmers that I've learned so much about who have been into the system a lot longer than I have. Um, I wouldn't have been able to do it without you, or it'd have been a, uh, there'd have been, it'd have been a lot, it'd be a lot trickier. And those of you, 